Hey, hey, Shalom, Shalom. First of all, we want to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Hashem, Yahushai, Hashem, Rakakwadash. The double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, peace and blessings to you fellow brothers out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Okay, uh, Shalom to the hopeful elect, the elect out there fighting for their faith. It's a couple of brothers from the San Francisco Bay Area camp meeting up again, but this time, like last time, you know, uh, you know, on the internet via, you know, uh, a live, you know, not a, a stream, basically, a video conference, you know. So hey, with this technology, we still able to meet up. You see what I'm saying? So hey, it's all, it all works out. The most I knew exactly what he wanted to do, you know. And the scriptures say when two or three are gathered in my name. There, I'm also in the mist. Okay, so even you know we're not able to meet up, which we do. Physically, we're able to meet up with our avatars online. This this has never this has never happened ever to be able to do something like this and and come and edify. So you know I believe I titled this one. This is just a prophecy update. Um, you know maybe various topics. You know, me and his brother was just talking earlier. We, you know, we were just talking about, you know, the herbs and, um, you know, and uh, and I was just explaining, we were just joking around. I was explaining, like, I'm a, hey, I'm a tea drinker. You know, I'm always, I'm always drinking herbal tea, which that's an Eastern, uh, a Eastern custom. That's what we, you know, used to do as a people. Now our people are completely disconnected from the, the, you know, the herbalism. Or the, the plant medicines, the, the medicines in the earth, which we are coming back to um, our, our heritage. And that's part of it as well. Our our, our, our dietary uh, customs, you know, and also our, uh, you know, our healing, our healing system that the Most High has given to us, which a lot of these other nations still keep. But, you know, through these damn devils, you already know the little hats. They have made, uh, you know, the medicines of the earth, you know, mystic and and, um, you know, have has made it quackery, you know, when and, and when that's really how you, you know, you bounce back from this dis ease. All right. But you, you have you have our people that do what they go and they go to the devil, which we are. We were all there. We were all there. We didn't know. Right. We, we we just didn't know we would we our parents sent us to the uh, the doctor the so-called doctor right bring that scripture out brother uh i i, oh, I have, have a uh con con yeah, bring out whatever you got yeah, yeah, jeremiah we'll jeremiah say, 6 con. jeremiah 6 and 16 thus saith the lord stand ye in the ways and see and ask mm -hmm. for the old paths yeah ask for the old paths because this new this new liberalism new path is leading you jakes i mean it's leading you right to death mm -hmm. like the elder yashwama did a video where he was going into you know that that black chick that so-called you know ne negro woman so-called black woman um judite or could have been levi or benjamin right she she tattooed her eyeballs and now she's going blind tattoos all over your face uh, piercings all over your face this new age uh, 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 thinking, this new think, what they call new think, uh, what is it called? Liberalism, feminism, which is nothing other than uh, a Satanism, do as thou wilt, disguised under the, all these other banners. That's all that it is. It's Satanism, rebellion. Okay? You being an adversary to the Heavenly Father. Because none of these so-called alternative ways of life actually bring life it's all rebellion in in just a, a different a different manner that's all that it is it's rebellion it's you being an adversary towards the heavenly father but us coming back to our heritage our nationality uh, uh, our god our power we're we're supposed to ask for the old path because that's the old path is the correct path that's the path that we was given uh, uh get you know we were given uh from the beginning okay this is this is how you're supposed to do it this is how you're supposed to live you eat this food, you don't eat that food. When you're sick, this is what you this this is the process that you go through. These are the people that you go through. 
you you don't you don't uh, make another nation your ruler over you. You don't have any dealings with the other. You don't give your your daughter unto the other nations. You keep your daughter in straightly. OK, you give your daughter to a man of understanding. OK, you you men, you don't you don't lay down with other men. You you, you don't be a sodomite. You women, you don't be whores. OK, this this is these are the marriage customs. This is how you deal with your brother. This is how you deal with a dispute. This is how you, you deal with buying and selling. Right. That's the old path. Go ahead. Where is the good way and walk therein? See, where where is the good way and walk therein? Because this is the good way. OK, us us uh, returning back to Yah Basham Shah. There's multiple scriptures popping up. Uh, a whole Isaiah 30. OK, whole Isaiah 30 and uh, uh, 20. And I believe also Isaiah 1. Is it 1 and 10? <laughs> OK, or it might be Hosea. Um, but is that all on that or is it more? No, nah, it's, it's more. It says, OK, keep going. Where is the good way and walk therein, right. and ye shall find rest for your souls. Right, ye shall find rest for your souls. And psh, come on, man, you don't have no rest here. There is no rest. Micah, Micah, was that? Micah uh, two, two and ten. Micah two and ten says this is not our rest. So we're not going to have rest. We're constantly afflicted on all sides, man. Right. Okay. We're still we're still going through our chastisement to this very day. OK. And as we as we are in our chastisement, we would acknowledge the scriptures say we will acknowledge our ways. OK, we will acknowledge our faults, what we what we what we did. We will be uh, re remorseful and repentful. This is we're here to repent. OK, yeah, we, we are waking up to who we are, but the, the process, you got to repent. Right. Uh, Romans, the 12th chapter, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. OK. And part of that is what? Going back to the old way. That's the that's the right path. The path was already given to us. We fell from that path. It's not that the path, it, the, the way was wrong. It was a problem with us, this flesh. OK, but it, it's all a, it's all a learning experience. There's more on that. It says, but they say, but they said we will not walk there in. We will not walk there. Could you get the uh, NLT? Can you read that, read that in the NLT? You got if you have a, a different translation. <clears throat> Jeremiah six and sixteen in the NLT, it says, <clears throat> "This, this is what the Lord says: Stop at the crossroads and look around. Ask for the old, godly way, and walk in it." Yeah, the old godly way. Where are you going to find that? Where are the crossroads? Well, this is part of it. The highways and the hedges, where the prophets were. The agora, where the prophets meet, where there's buying and selling. Now, the buying and selling is the truth, and you buying the truth with your time, which what you know, with your mind. Okay, uh, uh, you know, like the scriptures say, buy the truth and sell it not. Okay, and where the agora, the cross worlds, is where buying and selling happens. Okay, where and also where debates happen. Ask for the old, ask for the old, not the new path. Who's who's coming to you, presenting to you the new path? Oh, you can do this. You can do that. Oh, scientists, they found out that you can do this. Oh, this, oh it's okay for you to do that. Oh, I know that the uh, the LGBT, especially gay men, they're catching this disease. The monkey, you, and you know what? Whatever happened to the monkey thing? It was in it was in the news, right? It was in the news for like a good, strong two, three weeks. They was going crazy with it. Now you don't even hear about it, right? But it said, oh, you know, with that community is overrun with all these different mumps. But you know what? We have a, a medicine for you. That's a spirit. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? We have a medicine for you. All right. And it's going, it's going to help you. All right. You see that? So Esau, he's saying, yeah, you can't, because when you do pra practice in those alternative death styles, you receive, you receive, you know, punishments. You 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 receive diseases and sicknesses. Right. That's what sickness is. It's you sinning. Sickness comes from sin. That's why when you're sick, you gotta pray to the heavenly father. Then you go to physician. Okay. Or you use sir, you gotta be a low, you gotta be somewhat of a physician yourself in this thing. You gotta know a little bit of knowledge of the herbs when you get sick. Okay. 
And our people, they don't know that. So who do they go to? The physicians of no value and Lord's will will get that. Okay, but go ahead, bro. Travel its path and you will find rest for your souls. Yeah, the straight, the straight and narrow, as it says in Matthew, the seventh chapter. Okay, seek ye, uh, what is that? The, uh, the straight, the straight mm -hmm. gate. Okay. Uh, for wide is a path of the, uh, basically destruction. Okay. And narrow is the path of salvation, uh, you know, righteousness. I'm just vaguely paraphrasing Matthew, the seventh chapter. Okay. Thir the 13th verse. Right. Okay. Go ahead. But you reply, no, that's not the crop. It's, it's a lot. I'm, a, I'm excited. It says, but you reply, no, that's not the road we want. See, no, that's not the role we want. That's what Jake is saying. Here it is. The most high sent the watchman out to tell you, um, and, and get Isaiah 30 and 20. <laughs> get Isaiah 30. The most high sent the watchman out to tell you what it is. This is the pay. This is the path. This is the old way. This is how you're supposed to think. This is how you're supposed to maneuver. Okay. Here, these are your enemies. Don't make league with them. This is what I'm about to do. But Jake say, no, we don't want that. We want this way. Why? Because this way, sin, sin, hey, there, hey it's, there's there's freedom in sin. Right. You know, there's, uh, you know, it, 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 it's pleasurable because you, you uh, uh, succumb to the lowest state, the beast-like state, the beast-like nature. When there's no, there's no thought of, uh, of repercussions to an action. Okay. You 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 are, you are just a beast. You see you see prey and you just you just pounce on it. You don't care what it is, okay? You you see a uh, 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 you know a woman. You just pounce on. It. You don't care if she's she's married or not, if she's on her moon or not, how old she is or not. You don't care. You're you're succumbing to that beast like nature. And we hey the we've been uh, given a, a commandment to to stay away from those beast like natures, man. OK, and the, and the law, the law is there to separate the good from the bad because the Lord, he, he yeah, he did put the bad there as well. There's bad there as well. But we're we're commanded not to participate in that. That's why the other nations are considered beasts. You see. But go ahead, bro. Isaiah 30. 30 and 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of the bread of adversity <clears throat> and the water of affliction. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. You see that? Your teachers. Now, you're in the crossroads. The, the, the teachers are in the crossroads. Uh, t speaking to you. Telling you this is what you need to do. Mm -hmm. we're, giving, we're giving you warning. We're giving you warning. Thus said Yah Basham al Shai, How you should be acted in the, in, in, on this earth. Okay? Because Jake out here just acting a goddamn fool. And of course... Esau, he going to polarize that, meaning he going he gonna to make sure your activities are in the forefront of, of the whole world to see. OK, why he's hiding, which he can't hide himself. But and a lot of the things are coming out that this dude, this dude is, a, a, you know, he doing all type of things to children, you know, at the head of these, you know, so-called PDO movements or secret organizations. It's always the little hats. Oh, and, and 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 these people are linked in with big time people all throughout the earth, and they're all Edomites, but nobody really comes out against them. Okay, but you Jakes, you do something, hey, you're gonna make the front page. Okay, and they're gonna they're gonna demonize you, they're gonna persecute you, they're gonna say, Look at these beasts, look at these animals, when they're the real animals. Okay, so you see your you see your teachers, we're telling you what it is. Wait. Thus said Yah Basham al Shai. But as we read in Jeremiah, right, sick, you said, No, this is not this is not what we want. We don't want this way. Okay, go ahead. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. So you see us. You see us. You see the teachers. Go ahead. And thine ears <clears throat> shall hear a word behind thee. This is the Stand point right here. This is the point. Go ahead, read it again. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee. Go ahead. Saying, this is the way walk ye in it. See that? This is the way walk ye in it. Going right back into Jeremiah 6. Okay. In the cross worlds, in the Agora. Okay. We'll hold Proverbs, the first chapter as well. Okay. 
Go ahead. And this is all, but by the way, this is all, this is all prophecy. Okay. This is all prophecy that we're waking up to who we are as a people. But as it says in Daniel, the 12th chapter, one of my favorite chapters, many, many that are asleep shall awake out of the dust, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting content. So yeah, we are waking up as a people, right? But not all Jake is going to get it. Not all are going to wake up to the fact of them uh, being delivered or the, the, the now everybody's going to wake up and the most high going to deliver out of the nation of Israel. OK, because you're not walking in the way that the most high wants you to walk, even though you're hearing the way that the most high wants you to be. But you 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 disregard that you like to you know, you you heap to yourself teachers having itching ears. OK, your teachers say that the MOTB is not the MOTB. It's something else. You like that breakdown. It, 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 it doesn't require it doesn't require a sacrifice from you. It require it, it, you can still be that old nigga. OK, it's more on that. It's mas. Yeah, it says. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left, so it don't even matter where you go. The crossroads, right? You have the crossroads, right? It's many different directions. <laughs> you got the left, you got the right, you got front, you got back. You turn to the left, Jake is right there telling you what it is. You turn to the right, Jake is right there telling you what it is, right? You watch a basketball game, your favorite basketball player is saying it. Mm. You, 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 you listen to music, your favorite artist is saying it. Okay? You, you, go, you go and watch ESPN, they debating about it. Okay? Your, your favorite gaming streamer, he, he's having a conversation about it. So you can't escape this. So the word is out there. Regardless, you Israelites, you've heard it. Okay? All, all my family, they know what it is. Okay, they heard it, but this, hey, many are called, but few are chosen. And then there's so much more that's not even called. Okay, go ahead. Uh, that, that was pretty much it. Okay, read that in NLT. I like that. I, I've been... I've been going in that translation which you can go to more but i've been reading like a dual translation lately you know because it, it, it you know gives you somewhat of a somewhat of in, in in certain instances a more plainer explanation mm -hmm. to where the listeners it just makes it makes perfect sense you don't even really have to break it down it just makes perfect sense okay go ahead isaiah 30 and 20 in the nlt it says Though the Lord gave you adversity for food and suffering for drink. That means we went into captivity, which we're in our captivity <clears throat> um, still right now. Okay, go ahead. He will still be with you to teach you. He will still be with you to teach you. Why? Because he set up the teachers. Go ahead. It says you will see your teacher with your own eyes. You're, and you're seeing it with your own eye. Now, hey, you might not want to accept your teacher for how they, they might. He got a big head or something or his lip big or, you know, he got a lisp or he can't speak. He stutter or, or he, he talked too rough or you don't like the way that he looks. You know, he, he comes too hard. Mm -hmm. OK, regardless, you see him. You use the most high. The most high is, is putting the teachers out in the forefront. Now, there's a whole bunch of teachers out there. There's a whole bunch of teachers out. Which one is your teacher? Okay, go ahead. It says, your own ears will hear him. Your own ears will hear him. Go ahead. Right behind you, a voice will say, this is the way you should go, whether to the right or to the left. See, this is the way that you should go. And we're telling you, this, there's there when you come to serve the Heavenly Father, there's a certain, there's a, a particular way that he wants you to serve him. OK, you can't serve him worshiping no other God, having no other image upon you. We're both to be conformed to the image of Yahweh Shai. OK, we're both to be clean and white, getting ready for the marriage. OK, but these other teachers, they ain't telling you that you they, they just want your funds. They just want your, your, the, the money. They just want the likes on the video. OK, there's you don't you don't have there is no sacrifice. You could just listen to this is like church. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you could just go to church, sit down, you know. Hallelujah, right? Throw maybe twenty dollars in a basket, and your job is done. You you could just walk out of the church and go back to being a nigga. 
your mind, your mind is not stirred up to do anything better. Okay. <laughs> you ain't getting, you don't know any Hebrew. You, you believe the name's not that important. Well, the Israelite, well, why can't y'all burn just get together? We just come, we just come all the, I just don't understand. Well, if you don't understand, it's because the most High blinded you. That's why. Okay. Because this thing is, is plain into the holy. Okay, it, it, it only makes sense that the most high will separate. There's, the scriptures say there's many false prophets that have gone out. Okay, there's many antichrists, anti messiahs. So, everybody that just pick up the Bible and read a scripture don't mean that he a man of the Lord. Okay, and then they will come with a certain message this is the way, this is how you're supposed to be walking, this is how you're supposed to be thinking. Okay, yeah, the law is important. We keep the law, but that ain't going to save you. We ain't just pushing the law down your throat. You're going to come to this in, in your proper time. Arab, you know, when you first listen to the word, you ain't going to fully convert. You ain't going to be perfect. It's a, it's a, uh, uh, you know, it takes time to refine a metal, right? You got to find the metal first. You got to dig it out. It can have all type of lesser metals and dross on it. You got to, you got to melt it down. You got to put it in water. There's a, a refining process. You got to polish it. Okay, you know, I got to bring it back until it's that perfect metal. That's what the Most High is doing to us. But when we first came in, we were simple. The way that we thought, the way that we looked at life. Okay, we weren't even as close to the Most High as we are now. And we're only going to get closer. Okay, God forbid, say we're here another two years. We're going to be on a different level of understanding with the Most High. He's going to reveal more things unto us. So we're constantly learning. Okay. Until all things are revealed when Yahweh Shai comes, then it's like, okay, we ain't got to learn no more. We ain't got to study no more. Okay? But go ahead, bro. Uh, You want me to keep going? Okay, that was fine. That was done yeah, on that. that. Did you have something else? I wanted you to go to... Uh, I think we were done with all that, no? Yeah, we was done with all of that. I had okay. Isaiah 10 and 20. Yeah, what does that uh, say? I, I believe... Uh, no more stay upon them that smote them. Read it anyway. Okay. Isaiah 10 and 20, it says... And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them. Yeah, shall no more. Oh, that hey, that ties in perfectly. What we going into? That ties in perfectly. Okay, no more stay, rely, go um, um, land back in or going back, circumventing back into what we was talking about earlier about the herbs. Right. Okay, our our healing system. Okay, our people that that uh you know took that you know that juicy fruit the three pointer okay uh 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 they, they, they trust it they stay that word stay in the hebrew means to rely okay for uh means support so i mean the scriptures do say that we will come to the want and need of all things but see look we're at a we're at a a, a crossing point we're at a time in which you're gonna have to depart you're not gonna be able to Rely on that. You you won't have to fully rely on the heavenly Father. Okay, that's where we at. So even going into our healing system, the the the, uh, the medicines of the earth. Okay, you you take the remedy. Uh, you pray to the Lord and you take the remedy, man. Okay, the Lord He can activate it or not. You could take you. Could, it don't matter what you could do. The Lord can just activate it just cause. Right. You see what I'm saying? Or He can just heal you through through prayer. Okay, but that's medical misinformation according to YouTube. Okay. Is that is that that's the new way? That's the that's the actual new way to take pharmaceuticals, to, to rely on the so-called white man in a in a white in a um <clears throat> in a white coat, which I got a lesson coming up. I'm gonna put it on um uh color about color psychology mm. and what that what that white represents or what black represents. Okay, the reason why they be wearing you know, I don't go super deep into it, but the reason why they wear that white suit, you know, because you look at him, you, 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 tr you trust them. You know, it looked as purity, cleanness. OK, righteousness. OK, but the whole time, <laughs> the whole time that system is set up to kill you. The, all the allopathic. OK, and they take they isolate certain things from the herbs. Okay, and then they add this, they add that, like a Frankenstein. Okay, but no longer, and this is the remnant. This is not, this this is not uh, all Israel. All Israel, you got still, you got Israelites still, 
you know, uh, on all type of pr pr prescriptions. Which, hey, you, you should be weaning off them prescriptions. You should, hey, you, you brothers, be asking brothers, you know what I mean? If you consider brothers your teacher, your, your spiritual leader, you shouldn't be, uh, uh, as, as much as possible, you should not be attached to this man uh, as much as possible, man. So where when when it when that day comes, you can depart. You're not reliant on him, okay? You're not reliant on that so-called uh, blood pressure medicine, that prostate medicine, okay? That uh, epileptic medicine, okay? You're not reliant on his pharmaceutical. So now you through. You you gotta you gotta give in. Now he say, hey, you need this to get that. Now you got to do it because now you can't live without it, right? But, hey, the remnant, they're no longer going to stay, rely on Esau, Edom. But go ahead, bro. Hey, it reminds me, as you were speaking, it reminds me of how the scriptures say, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. The fear of the right. Lord is his treasure. It's not talking about the wisdom and knowledge of what you learned in the world. Mm -hmm. It's talking about the wisdom and knowledge of what? The old way, the old path. Yep. Knowing, knowing how to eat certain things to... to <laughs> Hey, feel better. I don't want to say too right. much, but basically, yeah, feel yeah, better. yeah, yeah. Perfect. To, yeah, perfect. You know, knowing, knowing how to take the precautions of what the Lord said to do, so you can, uh, you know, basically, a hey, the ways that the Lord gave us, they're they're the way of life. The ways mm -hmm. that Esau has given us are the ways of death. You know. Yeah, not nah, perfect. That perfect, perfectly said. You know, perfectly said. Knowing let letting food be thy medicine, but here it is. You relying on Esau to tell you what's medicine and what's not. Right. Okay, he telling you some shit, some uh, a vial or something. You don't even know what the fuck this is. Well, what the hell? What is this? Some shit that he made in a lab. Okay, that, that come on, bro. That's literally right out of a like a, a science fiction movie. This nigga just come out of a, a lab somewhere. He got a vial. Here, put this inside of you. And you line, you lined up. Okay, but the wisdom and knowledge of that, of knowing who your enemy is, that's the stability. Right. Which when you go into that word stability, one of the uh um the uh uh translation counts, meaning it's used another word is used uh in the scriptures for that same Hebrew word. Okay, it's faith, faithfulness. Mm. So wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability or the faithfulness in your time, you can also say, or faith, because you having that wisdom and knowledge. Right. The, uh, uh, the the fear, the fear of the Lord, the beginning, the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. Right. With all that getting, get understanding. So you have all this information, which it builds up into the faith. It's, all, it's really all it's one package. It's a package deal. Right. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding of faith, fear, hope. Right. It's all it's, it's a package. You got to have it all. You can't you can't have one without the other. Like, oh, works as well. Right. The book of James. Of uh, faith without works is what it's dead. Okay, it's a package deal. You got to have it all. But you can you can uh, uh blanket statement or or summarize it and you can summarize it into uh, Isaiah thirty three and six. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability. You can summarize it. Okay. You can just make it plain, make it short. That's gonna be the stability. That's gonna you understanding. Okay, about the herbs. Maybe you that we just using that as an example. That's not the end all be all, but we just using this as an example. Okay, there might be a situation where you know that you can eat this certain plant, you can eat this certain food while everybody else is starving, mm -hmm. while everybody's is dying. You know how to, you know, uh, uh, you know, a bandage or a wound. You know, you know what to do with a wound. You know how to cauterize a wound, or you know, you know something to, to be able to. You know, use some type of antiseptic. You know, and then ultimately you, the prayer, the not the knowledge and wisdom of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, their names, understanding, being able to communicate with them. That first and foremost, that goes first and foremost outside of anything physical physical you can do. You got to have that knowledge first, because when you once you have that knowledge, everything else manifests itself. Hey, another point too. It says the fear, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. So, you, hey, during Jacob's trouble, all right, you might be walking past a field, like the brother gave the example. You might be walking past the field, and the Lord put a thought in your head to understand that this is okay to eat. This is this is how you eat this. That's yeah. The Lord basically, you know, downloading that through 
hey, what, mm-hmm. through, through the angels supping with you ultimately, you know? Yep. Like, hey, hey, pick this. Hey, look at, look to the left. Just look to the left for a moment. Hey, uh, look down, you know? But the yeah, fear of the Lord yeah. ultimately being being the treasure, you know? Because if that's when you treasure. fear Yabba, right. When you fear Yabba Shimon Shai, you, uh, you're under the shadow of his wings. Therefore, you're protected. Yep. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, perfect. Because, yeah, wisdom, knowledge, stability, which goes into faith, and that fear, man. That fear is the first thing. You you have a fear of the Heavenly Father. That's the what well, tells you that in the um the book of Sarah, I believe it's 17 or 19. It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning, uh, is the beginning of being accepted by him. Okay. Being uh being loved by the Heavenly Father is the fear. And he has to, by the way, he has to give that fear to you. Okay, because even in the when you heard this truth, you was fearful. Like, oh shit, damn, I can't, damn, I can't do that. Oh, damn, I gotta damn. I'm, Who's I gonna kill me? Oh shit! You know, and of course it's not perfect, but you had you had some type of fear of the Most High from the jump. You see what I'm saying? Sir and Jake, they just don't give a shit. Now, it, it, you know, we all have our, you know, where we were just out there buck wild, but we were we were really godless. But even then, the Most High was right there too. Okay, we didn't go too far. Uh, uh, which our righteousness is is that filthy rag. So, dependent, no matter if we went too far or not, if the Most High want to deliver you, the Most High gonna deliver you. Nevertheless, hey, the Lord was always there to keep us back from participating in certain things. Mm. Okay, so when we do come into the truth, we not, uh, uh, uh you know, what, what's how, how does the scripture say? We're not a uh, a pricked by our mm. sins, man. Okay, the scripture say, don't be uh overly righteous. Or overly wicked because you're gonna we, we literally in the wicked flesh you got demonic thoughts coming you're like god damn like what am, you just want to go to sleep man okay but it's a con you got to constantly rebuke those things that's that's high level knowledge to be able to rebuke demons because just think jake in the world don't know how to rebuke demons they succumb to the demons they think that these are their thoughts so they'll think bad about a certain individual They'll 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 uh, do a, a certain thing that's not in the spirit, that you know a consequence, a high level consequence comes from that action. Mm. Okay, because they don't have the knowledge of 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 Yah Bashim Al Shah how to maneuver how to this this is the wisdom the Bible is the wisdom of how to to move in this society man how to move down here on earth. Well, like they uh, say the acronym for the Bible right? What that's not what it is. Right. Basic instruction before leaving Earth. Okay, would you go okay? But that's not really what it means. But that sounds good. I mean, that's that's close in a sense that yeah, you, these these are the instructions to who the Israelites. And the reason why we fell from our, our state, okay, we fell from heaven, okay, is because which which is a a, a position, is because we fell from the way the the old path. We start doing some new age shit. Mm-hmm. And look what this new age shit has gotten the world. The world is is completely just bugged out of their mind. You got people tattooing their eyeballs, turn themselves into lizard people. Okay, orgies everywhere. People killing themselves. People killing their children. Okay, wives killing their husbands. Husbands killing their their wives. Aborting their children. Okay. Shooting people for minuscule reasons, stabbing people for minuscule reasons, committing suicide. Okay, man, you I was on a, on the live link thread on the Telegram, man, it's nothing but judgment. Or oh, another brother, he did a video. It's called um, it was too. It's, it's actually a little bit too cringy for me. It's too uh, a little too gory for me. But uh, I forget exactly what the thread is. I, I'm not gonna bring, give it whatever. But it's. It is nothing but judgment out there. The Most High is judging people left and right. I'll just say it like that. The Most High is judging people left and right. Why? Because of the ways of sin. The new age, the new, the the the, the new way. People that took that that juicy that juicy pop. Oh man, it's all type of videos of motherfuckers just dropping dead. Okay, out of nowhere, man. Having having um a a, a rest of the heart. Okay, attack attacks of the heart okay just just dying in, in my family too literally literally in my family P- 
people dying in their sleep. Okay? So it's happening all around us. Why? Because of the wages of sin. The wages of sin is death. This new way that Esau Edom has presented to the world, he's pretty much presented you presented a rebellion against the Heavenly Father. That's what he's setting up. That's what's already here. Satan's kingdom is already here. He just he just perfecting it now. He just saying, hey, look, this is what it is, man. Now, this is I'm seeing. Okay, you got saved after school programs now. Okay. This this shit wild. I might have to do a, a, a separate lesson on that, man. Mm. Okay. Satan got an after school program. All right. <laughs> Damn. All right. This, we, we, this is what it is. The complete rebellion, the abs being uh, uh complete adversarial to the heavenly father. Okay, and and he's enticing you Israelites to jump on board. See, and, and we're we're telling the hey, look, you 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 make a lead with Satan, the most high gonna destroy your ass. Okay, he's gonna destroy you right along with his cohort, uh, Esau, his his counterpart. Because the, the, there's a spiritual demon say he good. The spiritual demon say he good, bro. He in the spiritual world with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Okay. Doing doing the Lord's bidding. He ain't worried about you. He he the ultimate deceiver. He'll come to you in all type of ways. See, the nigga always there. The the uh, uh um what is saying, Peters, your adversary, the devil, has a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. <laughs> be sober, be vigilant, right? Go ahead. Where you at? Uh quick, I got a quick preset Proverbs 15 and 16. Better is little with the yeah. fear of the Lord. Then great treasure and trouble mm -hmm. therewith. Yeah, great tre great treasure and trouble therewith. Because what 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 happens when you get those treasures? A lot of trouble, man. Look at look, just look at the celebrities. That's a perfect example because the celebrity is a perfect example because their life is literally on the internet. Everything, every move they make is literally polarized. It's on the internet. They make money for from from you know. They're showing their lives, man. And they they just, they want all type of drugs, in and out of rehabs, in and out of relationships. Here it is. I thought you had money. I thought you right. got your wife and your kids and you live happy. They they in and out of relationships like it's crazy. Like your boy Shaq, married for like 20-something years. Okay, got divorced. Wife sleeping with uh, a, a younger dude. Here it is, here it is, nigga. You worth like what 500 mil, some crazy, almost a billion dollars. Mm. And your wife steps out on you. So I thought it was about money. I thought it was about the money was gonna buy you happiness. No, it's sin. Sin ultimately uh leads to this, you know, this death style, man. Because in the kingdom of heaven, when righteousness is established, you have a woman, you have a wife, that's your wife forever. That's right. Okay, that ain't nothing gonna ain't as an Israelite man, ain't nothing gonna happen to her. You ain't you, the thought of adultery, the thought of adultery is not gonna even come into your mind. That that's gonna be non-existent, okay, in the nation of Israel. Right, right, right. You see what I'm saying? Your woman, she all she gonna know is you. She not gonna even this is the cold thing about she's not gonna even have those thoughts come into her mind. She's not gonna even have that temptation come into her mind. So it's gonna be all righteous. Mm -hmm. Okay, but in this society, your woman, she working, she she flirting with this dude, flirting with that dude. And look, it's, it, it is, hey, it's seen because look, when a woman is with a man, and, by, and the same thing with a man, but it's, it's a man, he can have more than one woman, right? But a woman is with a man, especially in this society, she don't even want the nigga no more. She looking at, another, she just looking at getting popped by another nigga. Okay, she addicted to porn, uh, uh, prawn, right? She she's seeing BBCs and shit. She, bro, this shit is crazy out here. So now she getting popped by a dude at her job, but you take care of her. You got kids. What? It's so much. It's so much. Oh, that shit dark. It's all type of shit like that on the internet, right? Niggas walking in on a woman getting popped. That that's actually, but that's sin. But hey. Jake loves this society. Jake loves Jake loves sin. Ultimately, right? Like going back into uh that uh that's heavy, Jeremiah the sixth chapter. We don't want that way. Okay. There's another scripture where it says that we're not gonna walk, we're not gonna walk in that way. I believe is that Isaiah. But that's fine. Hey, Go ahead. Hey, hey, to add on, we we seen bro, we seen enough for the little time the Lord had us in the world, bro. We seen enough. 
Like the brother saying, we we clearly see that's not the way to go. That's not the way to walk. You know, it's it's, it's plenty of examples, man, of, of people that have walked in those ways and that got completely judged. You know, the Lord Yab the Lord Yabashim Shai is not mocked. Hey, so so what? That that fear of the Lord, like the brother's talking about, that fear of the Lord came upon us. All right, and what the Lord allowed us to start making uh decisions that please him, you know, yeah. instead of the, the, the things that displease him. And you see how what, what I believe King David made that prayer. Uh uh and he said something to the effect of judge me not in your sore displeasure. Yep, yep. You know? Yeah, uh 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 was that Psalm. Yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. It's in it's in a lot, it's in a couple places too. It's even in Jeremiah. Mm. I'll bring I'll bring this out in Jeremiah. Kind. But yeah, David, because David, he he went off, but he repented. He was like, Man, Lord, you know, uh have have mercy upon me. Jeremiah 10. I think that's like 20. Yep, Jeremiah 10 and 24. Oh Lord, correct me, but with judgment, not in thy anger, mm. least thou bring me to nothing. See? So all the prophets was like that. And that's pretty much what we're, we're saying now. Okay. And actions speak louder than words, but we actually voice that um, you know, in, in our prayers, okay, to for the Lord to have mercy upon us, man. And to clean us. What J, uh, David also said to, uh, you know, renew a, a renew a heart, you know, take not thy Holy Spirit, but renew thy, you know, a new heart within me, you know, clean me. Because we're because we're, we're dirty, man. And we got we got them them dirty thoughts mm -hmm. just because we're in the flesh. You know, nothing that we see. This is the thing. The hopeful elect, they're they're. they're uh, um, yearning after righteousness mm. they want they want to do the right thing it is like paul paul said the things that i i don't want to do i do and the things that i i do you know the good things i want to do i do not and, and not so many words right because we're we're uh old wretched man that i am mm. okay because we're we're in these bodies and and that and that's the chains of darkness okay we're in we're in chains all right, and we're waiting to be liberated from the from the main thing, which is what sin, because that is what got us in this situation in the first place. Right, <laughs> and the only, well, the we only, all grew. Right, we all hey. jacked up. Mm -hmm. Okay, can't can't excel in nothing that we put our hands to. We just, we finished out there. Okay, it's because of sin. Mm -hmm. All right. You got it. I was gonna say that's that's why the scriptures speak about you know those whose in whose spirit was found no guile. Yep, all right, because yep. the Lord know the Lord knows who He has chosen since the beginning. All right, we just play these things out in the flesh. You know that's hey the scriptures say let not your sins weigh you down because it's the, it's times where we fall in the flesh. But hey, what through the spirit we justify. All right, Yahweh Shai's blood covers us through the spirit, man. These fleshly bodies are done. You know we through. But uh, going back to Isaiah ten and twenty. Finishing it off, uh, I just read it from the top again. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. Yeah, in truth, man. And when you worship the Most High, you must worship him in spirit and in truth. That's right. Okay? So no longer are we going to rely on Esau, the devil, who's continued, he's still smiting us to this very day. To this, to this very day, man. Jake talk about reparations. They, they act like you know, you got two heads on your shoulder, mm. but the small hats they can bring out the anti this, anti that, and and what uh, uh what's it called? Uh, what's what's your boy Kyrie? Didn't he donate so many hundreds of thousands to that the, the anti you know what the ADL? Okay, so they they you say something bad about them for you to get back in those good graces, you gotta you you gotta you know, you gotta move to their tune. So they 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 get reparations, so to speak, and they and they and they're the ones that are wicked. Okay, they're the ones that are taking everything from people. Okay, that's just one thing. We 
we have not been restored we have not made we have not been made whole we've been we've been uh conquered uh uh, uh what, what do they call it um what do they call frag like fragmentation Div that we have been divided and conquered but as we we're reading a remnant now is returning back to the lord all 12 tribes by the way not just the uh the, the southern kingdom but the northern kingdom as well are, are are coming back to the heavenly father okay we'll tell you that jeremiah 50 that uh both kingdoms were oppressed together okay and and we're as we're as the sand of the seas so even even though a lot of jake is going to be destroyed there's going to be a lot of israelites that's going to be delivered <laughs> It's going to be John saw it. He said, what are these that are uh, the, the angel? Act, what are these that are uh, red and white? He said, sir, thou knowest. You see what I'm saying? John, he didn't know because you had you had John. John, the revelator saw our people. in all the nations looking like other nations as well, a big, a big multitude. So there's going to be a lot of Israelites that are going to be delivered. But in comparison. To those that are going to be destroyed it's going to be double that number of those that are going to be destroyed but it's still going to be a lot of israelites that's going to come back to yah bashim especially in the very last trump the last mm -hmm. hour okay when they see the power thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power okay it's not it's not our time it's not our time yet to show that power on the physical and on, on the physical realm right now okay with certain miracles are actually happening amongst the body, right? But it's not it's not time. We we don't know the exact time, but we we gonna know when when our hour is to where we gonna be performing those miracles, right? But it but it is gonna come the men of the Lord, and that's just gonna magnify this truth more and more. Well, what it what it, uh, Yahweh Shai said he when he prayed to his father in in John seventeen, he said mag magnif glorify me, Father, mm -hmm. so I can glorify you. OK, so the same thing with the Lord, he's going to give us that power to glorify him. Because if, if the most I give you the power, man, that's you no know, kind of heavy spirit. You're going to be in, man. You ain't you ain't like that, bro. I don't I ain't doing nothing. This, this is the heavy. Hey, this is the Lord's power. Well, we'll take an example from Moses, man. <laughs> when Moses, when he when he hit the staff on her and he gave uh, uh, water and he said he did it. The Mosai, man, the Mosai uh, basically didn't allow Moses to go into the promised land, man. He said, you're going to die. Okay. You, 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 you did, you said you did it. Like, like you did this power on your, that's a perfect example. You did this, you did this miracle on your own, by, by yourself, by, by your own power. Okay. Well, that's why Yahweh Shai said, rejoice not that the, the spirits are subject unto you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven mm -hmm. okay because hey that power can work until it don't work look at samson now you through mm -hmm. okay so hey it, you got to be very humble in this thing man all right and and, and remember the, the the soul the soul reason hey what what it, uh king solomon said he said uh you know the conclusion of the whole matter is to fear the Lord and keep yep. his commandments. So always remember, all right, it goes back to y'all by Shemel Shah. No matter what the Lord gives you on this side, all right, just everything ultimately, bro, what it boils down to is everything that's done on earth and in heaven is for the glorification of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah. That's it. Know, starting with the Father, Yahweh. Yeah, we're just unprofitable servants, bro. <laughs> we just doing what we was commanded to do. And Lord's will, hey, the Lord, he's seeming fit to beam us up, mm -hmm. you know, because he could put the Lord could put holy hell on you. And that's and that's essentially what he's getting ready to do to the whole earth. The whole earth is getting ready to be tried. OK, uh, uh, Ezra, the 16th chapter. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? Why did Ezra, why, did, why did the prophet Ezra say that? Because he was he he saw the vision. Just like Rebecca saw the vision, just like uh, um, what well, Rebecca saw the vision in the third chapter. OK, I have heard the speech. I heard thy speech and was afraid. OK, uh, Jeremiah saw, saw he said, hey, why, why do 
Jeremiah the 30th. Why do I see every man hands on their loins like like they, you know, traveling with child? Right. Then he said, alas, for that day is uh, for, for alas, for that day is great. It should be a time, you know, a time of trouble. OK, so he saw Jeremiah saw the time of trouble. All right, uh, John, the revelator, he saw the time of trouble. Paul saw the time of trouble. OK, Enoch saw the, the time of trouble. The seven from Adam, he said the Lord is going to come with tens of thousands of his chariots. So what does that prove? Well, that proves that. OK, the prophecies have all they have. Get Isaiah, get Isaiah uh, 46. I believe that's 46 and 10. The prophecies have the, of the end and, and many things that were that were that were going to happen. The Lord told the uh the seers back then, which were which were another name for the prophets, they were being called seers. Why? Because they saw the most high open up their mind to see certain things, namely the end. I, I declare that's what we get declared the end from the beginning. If whenever you're ready, Isaiah 46 and 10. Declaring the end from the beginning. See? Declaring the end from the beginning. So Enoch, Adam, all, all these men were in the beginning. They heard about the end. That's why when the prophets came back, namely when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, that was that was a heavy time because they thought that this was the time in which the kingdom of heaven was going to be established. Right. Okay. But we're actually we're actually in that time right now. That's that, that's that's even heavier. We're actually in the time. In which the prophets and I was I was thinking about this uh, today. It came to mind. We're actually in the time which all the prophets inquired about. They all they they all inquired about the end. They all wanted. Well, Ezra's even said it. He, he show me show me like that 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 last tokens, essentially. Show me what's going to happen in the end. Where he said it was so terrible. <laughs> he said, "Damn." Basically, he said, "Shit." I'm uh, shit. Who won't deliver? I'm, if nobody delivered me, I'm done out here. Okay. I got a quick preset. Sir, sir, prophets, they seen visions and and got sick. They they trembled. That so man, so the prophets seen it, and they they're the literally the closest that you can get. The prophets are the closest. The men of the Lord are the closest that you can get to the heavenly father. The prophets, they're the, they're the, they're literally the closest in relationship, okay. To, first and foremost, to to Yahweh Shai, not to just directly to the Father, but they're the closest to the Father. <laughs> so they they was scared. The Most High showed them, and they they was bugging the hell out, okay. That the Lord had to send angels to, you know, man, get up, you know, get up, you know, gird thy loins up, you know, so it's, it's gonna be okay. A lot of times the Lord sent the angels say, hey, look, it's going to be okay. Don't worry about that. You know, You'll get some, eat some food. You know, how much more, bro, how much more of these people, how, how much more uh, a 13 year old little girl, how much, how much more a six year old woman, how much, come on, bro, it's going to be, bro, the Lord is about to fuck this place up. <laughs> <laughs> and we just asking for the mercy. That's right. and, and we've been told what's getting ready to happen. That's the cool thing about it. We've been told. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, Just real quick, Matthew 13 and 17, to add on to what you were saying, it says, For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have That's not right. seen them. That's right. What, those are the, it, well, those are the same men coming back. Right. Those same righteous men and those same prophets, they, they're actually the same men coming back, were uh, inquiring about the same time. But they it wasn't time for them to to be in that time yet. I can only imagine the the, the heartache. You know what I mean? Knowing like, nah, bro, it's not it's not right now. Damn. Like just think, bro. Just think the Lord say, hey, nah, bro, y'all not about to, nah, it's not right now. Bro, we be through, bro. Come on, man. They will be oh done God. out here, <laughs> but you still had to keep the faith. Still had to go on the highways and head. Well, the Lord said He's not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, so He wouldn't do that. But just think, 
That's what happened during, the, bro. That's what happened during the time of the disciples, the men being mm-hmm. risen up. It wasn't that, nah, bro. You got to go out and you got to do the work. You got to get put to death. Mm, that's a spirit, yeah. That's there has a, to be a fall. There has to be a falling away. But see, now there's a new message. There's a new sheriff in town. Okay, there's a new message of deliverance. Now nah, we in that time. The prophecy is not going to be prolonged anymore. All right, we in that time. We we about to we about to go home, okay. But be, before going home, we all about to be tried because everybody ain't about to just get on that ship, okay. Everybody's not about. Everybody's not part of the elect, okay. The elect have to be have to be sifted, okay. During the hour of temptation, this this time of temptation that's getting ready to come upon the whole earth, okay. <laughs> that's where that's where we at. All right. And we we hasten in the day. We ask the Lord to speed this time up and to have mercy upon his elect. Because we getting ready to see all type of death out here. It's already happening. There's people, like I said, even in my family, people dropping dead. OK, nope. Nobody even knows. You The, the corner, we, they don't even know. Well, I don't know. They just, they just died in their sleep. It could have been this. Oh, let's just, you know, throw, just put a name on it. Mm. And they all have one thing in, in common. They all went to go play basketball, okay? They all played uh, like the brother, the brother, uh, <laughs> the elder Manazat. They all played the squid games, okay? Well, even in the squid games, when your boy he went back to play the game, right? If you watch it, knowing that he can get put to death, but he needed the money, okay? So a lot of people they were like, "Who knows what can happen?" But I'm just going to play it regardless. Mm. A lot of you, you're not here no more. You're in the spiritual world. And many more of you, y'all about to, at any time, any time it can happen. <laughs> it, it, it's a, it's a, a ticking uh, time bomb. At any fucking time, you can just go to the spiritual world. Okay? That's hell, bro. Now, the Lord, hey, I, I see the Lord going to have mercy on certain people. Okay, but a lot of you, the Lord, He just gonna put to death. Go ahead. Uh, finishing up, it says, "And to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them." To hear the hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. They have they didn't hear this, man. Mm-hmm. You know how excited the men of the Lord back then would have been if if it was a time back then, but it wasn't. Well, another example. You have a night uh, was in 19 uh, or the year 2000. You had a lot of Israelites that came in and they were being told, you know, the year 2000. That's when the Lord is going to come back. And you had a whole bunch of Israelites jump on the bandwagon because, yeah, I mean, we we do. Th- this is the good news, ultimately. Mm-hmm. So within the good news, OK, it's good news. So it's, you're going to be a ruler. You're going to have you. You know, you're gonna be you're gonna get out of this low state. You're gonna have the the the, the white man under you, you're gonna have all the nations under you, you're gonna have concubines, you're gonna have multiple wives, you're gonna have children, you're gonna have powers. So it was like, oh shit. And then it's like, oh, it's two more years. Oh, let me shit. Yeah. But it, it wasn't time, and a lot of them fell out because they didn't have the faith. That's really what it comes down to. But there's certain men on the earth that been waiting for this man for since the beginning of time. That's why you can't pluck the elect out of the most high's hand. You can't. It's impossible. That's why if you are part of the elect, it's impossible to fall off. Because th- this was this was preordained. This is this is prescribed. Okay, this was prescribed in the heavens already that there was gonna be certain people on the earth that was gonna be delivered from the said perils. Okay, and that every time they came, okay, uh, uh on the earth, they always inquired. Mm. But a lot of times, I mean, sometimes hey, they, they weren't able to inquire, but maybe groanings in the spirit. But they read that last part because they wanted to hear this and have not heard it. Read, just read the whole verse. Excuse me. Read the whole verse again. Bubba shot. Okay. Or maybe read, read it in NLT if you can. See how, how it words it there.
see. T. It's a lot. I had to go to the uh, blue letter. All good. All good. Matthew 13 and 17, it says, uh, I'll read it in the NLT. It says, I tell you the truth. Many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see. Mm. And th look, that was 2,000 years ago. That was 2000 years ago, bro. This 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 is this this is really talking about now. It's 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 more manifold now. Right. It makes more sense now. It's more relevant now. But even back then this is what the Lord was telling his disciples. Because they saw a certain level of the power back then. But it wasn't time. See, this is a different time because this is the time in which the Lord is going to deliver us from off the earth and change us to those God, those God states. We're going to go back to being gods, man. We're going to be the we're going to go back to being those uh uh, uh Nephilim. The giants. Okay? We're going to get our stature back. We going to we going to be in dog and dude with power. Mm -hmm. Okay? We're not going to be able to die. Come on, man. Go ahead. Hey, remind me the scripture how it says, uh, now is our salvation nearer yeah. than when we believed. That's right. We'd be those same men that was back then. Hey man, we finally here. All right, we hear in the prophecy of all right, uh uh how the scriptures say he's uh, the Lord is gonna put hooks in, in the jaws, you know, of, of Gog and Magog. Man, we actually seeing this, we actually seeing these things come to pass, you know. Yeah, man, and, and that's and we catch a hell, but it, it was hey. Just a little longer, right? Keep 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 your hands up. Keep moving, sticking and moving. Okay, championship rounds. Okay, now now it's all about conditioning. Like right, going into boxing, the first thing you got to be conditioned, man. And and you got to have a heart. You know, you can't give up. That heart is talking about the or those webbles, this mm -hmm. cojones. Okay. The, the, that grit, you get hit, you get knocked down, you get back up. You don't quit until the the, 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 the fight is over. Okay? Go ahead. And they, they, they say in those, in those situations, he had the will to fight. Mm -hmm. His body was done, but he had the will to fight, you know? Mm -hmm. That's right. The will of the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> Go right, ahead. It says... I, I'll read it from the top again. It says, I tell you the truth. Many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but they didn't see it. Mm. And they long to hear what you hear, but didn't hear it. Now we're hearing it. Now, we, mm -hmm. not only are we hearing it, like the brother was saying about the hooks, we seeing it. We're literally seeing, we're literally seeing the bones come together. Mm -hmm. The flesh come together in a spirit Isaiah, uh, or the Ezekiel 37, we're literally seeing the bones come together. Our people come back from that, that dead state. We're also seeing the wicked being revealed. Okay. We didn't, we didn't know that. Okay. Uh, the, the, the Paul, 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 Paul knew the most, the uh, Yahweh Shai taught Paul in the spirit. He said the mystery of iniquity does already work. OK, meaning talking about that's a mystery. They didn't really understand what that they didn't really understand what that was, uh, you know, what that meant. Now we understand that was the Romans, which are the Edomites. And we're in Rome 2.0. OK, those same those same nations came back together in perfect alliance, just like the scriptures would say. OK. The form, the form, that beast. And now the whore, America is, is sitting on top of that scarlet cover B. So the, the, the Heavenly Father left many clues, okay, in, in the form of these dark sayings, in the form of precepts, okay, and he sent the understanding down through the Holy Spirit, which is the comforter. Yahweh Shai told us. He told the disciples back then, okay, uh, and, and, and he's told, and he's even more, he's, he's showing us now, 
The same thing. He, he sent that comforter. Okay, the spirit of truth. Not only to the, the, the 12, right, but to those that believe on the 12 report. Back then, it was 11 because uh, uh, Judas Iscariot was going to betray him. But, you know, it was the Acts first chapter. I think it was Mattathias. He came in. Right. To, to keep that vibration of the 12. Okay. But, hey, now it's 144,000 ultimately. Right. Going right. Still still in that same vibration of 12, though. 12 times 12 is what? 144. Now it's 12,000 <laughs> out of each tribe. So the Lord bringing the tribes. Now we actually seeing the tribes come back together. Mm -hmm. You're not looking at a lat trial. Oh, this spit, fucking you know, a Mexican. You ain't looking. You looking at him like a brother in Yahweh Shah, and he's looking at you the same way. Okay, those demons is coming. The the, the Lord is uh get um get Amos nine. I think it's nine and eleven. They got yep nine and eleven. This is all. This is all the will of the heavenly. This is a beautiful thing, man. Okay, we're actually seeing it all happen together. This is what, what the brother was just reading. This is what the the great men of the Lord wanted to see. They didn't. They didn't get to see that back then. The tribes weren't back together. Okay, you you only had Judah, Benjamin, Levi, and you had certain other tribes that stayed, but mainly it was Judah, Benjamin, Levi, the Southern Kingdom, and those uh, wicked scribes. And Pharisees or those wicked Jews back then, they pretty much counted the uh, the northern kingdom as as heathens. Okay, but uh, as the as the uh, scriptures say, uh, Judah shall not vex Ephraim, um, and Ephraim shall not. Uh, what, how does it go? I forget. Judah shall not vex Ephraim, and Ephraim shall, shall not envy Judah. Envy Judah, the water. But the Lord was going to bind us back together. Can you read? You got that? Yeah, Amos 9 and 11. And that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that has fallen. Right, and the tabernacle or the house, tabernacle meaning house, that's fallen. Did, did not the, 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 the tabernacle of David fall? Where 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 did the, the small hats boast of themselves in the tabernacle of David or be in the house of David? They don't boast really boast themselves in that. The, 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 they don't boast in themselves in this prophecy. Did this prophecy? This, this is a prophecy in that day. What day is it talking about? Did it already happen? So you got a lot of explaining to do. Okay, Esau, Amalek. You got a lot of explaining. And you know what? You can't. All you can do is attack us uh, uh, with, with uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, words. You know, try to, you, you can't, you can't uh, go into the scriptures and debate it because you don't fit. You don't fit none of the prophecies. So the house of David, which represents all 12 tribes under david the, the kingdom of david okay which is really under the uh <clears throat> the uh the of uh, solomon is david gave david gave that you know to his son solomon so it's really solomon's kingdom but david is the is the um the physical ruler on the earth he's gonna be the physical ruler of the earth so that represented david and solomon's kingdom okay which is which, what what happened? It was all twelve tribes in in harmony. That was the king. That was the uh, a taste of the kingdom of heaven, so to speak, on a low level back then. Okay, all our enemies subjugated under us. Okay, just for forty. It was only forty years. It was 40, 40 years of fun, and then from there we fell. It was just a, a precipitous decline, all the way until the so-called white man had us in chattel slavery, mm. beating the shit out of us. OK. Now, if you see it, it was a uh, right. You have the rise, the rise and fall of Israel. Right. Because you had Israel that got that became great in Egypt. Right. Uh, Israel became great in Egypt. And as they came out of Egypt, they began they began to rise. Right. And then during during Solomon with Jeroboam and Rehoboam, boom, we start we started to fall when the kingdom started getting split all the way to all the way until we went deep into slavery. And now we're back on the rise again. So it was the rise and fall, rise and uh, uh, it was the, the the rise and fall, rise and fall, rise again of Israel. We fell, and now we now we we going straight to the top. We ain't we not falling again. 
because we're no longer going to be under sin. Okay, go ahead. It says, and close up the breaches thereof. Close the breaches thereof. Go ahead. And I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. Right, as in the days of old, during the time of David and Solomon. When all 12 tribes were together and pretty much the kingdom of heaven was established on earth. Because the, the, the heaven is, is a condition. It's also a condition. There's three heavens. One of those heavens is the condition that played out on earth. Now, you can be in heaven or you can be in hell. And for us Israelites, in the knowledge, we in pure hell, bro. How Even more so that we know he that increases in knowledge increases in sorrow, which much wisdom comes much uh, uh, grief. Okay. Now, you got two thirds of our people. They can't wrap their mind uh, um, around that concept. They, they're still you know searching for the american dream and here it is they they live super low level but jake you know what jake is cool this is the cool thing about israel man jake is cool being low level is israel a homeborn slave <laughs> why is he spoiled he, he he israel been spoiled for so long meaning the nation's taking taking advantage that you think this is it as long as you got what uh uh you know, a beer. You know, maybe, maybe you know, you got you a main chick and a side chick, and they both giving you hell. Okay, and you got a little, you got a little job. You know, you might make thirty five, forty dollars an hour. Maybe you might make a little bit more. You got certain jakes making, you know, sixty, seventy dollars an hour and making a little pretty penny. You know, make bringing home three thousand a week, two, three thousand a week. That you, you. Living pretty good. Mm. Got certain Jakes in certain industries. Okay, that live living somewhat, you know, cool. They get the, you know, the they they go into the Dominican Republic or going somewhere Southeast Asia, getting getting them, getting them women, you know. So they they think that that's you know they have a better standard of living, but it's still hell. It's really still hell because you're you're still uh, classified as a beast. In the eyes of all the nations okay and then look you might be okay so to speak you know you might not really have too many ailments you you know you might be cool you know you might be a professional athlete but look look at your nation your nation is finished and it's only getting worse okay so the the elect the the prophets are like the superheroes of the nation of israel that's right in the book of Obadiah, it says that they were uh, sa saviors. Okay, in the book of Obadiah, saviors uh, uh, sprang up. So, like, uh, like pretty much superheroes. Okay, that that are guiding the elect to those green pastures. Okay, via via the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh Shai guides the the elect, the teachers. And then the teachers guide the flock. Okay. And Yahweh guides Yahweh Shai. That's the order. That's the order that's set up on earth. And then the man guides the woman. And then the woman guides the children. So that's the order on the earth. But now, oh my goodness, you got all this. It's, it's madness. But that's a different, that's just a different story. Where you at? Uh, verse 12, it says that they may possess the remnant of Edom and mm -hmm. of all the heathen. Which are called, which are called by my name, saith the Lord that do, that doeth this. Yeah, possess the remnant of Edom, the the land of Edom, as well as Edom themselves, as well as the other nations themselves. Now, the other nations they're gonna get their land back, but they're gonna be under our jurisdiction. Okay. We we gonna we gonna be the leaders. We gonna be telling everybody what to do. Okay, and, and it's gonna be it's gonna be done by force in the beginning, and then everybody's gonna get on get on board. But going back to the that previous verse, how the Lord is gonna raise up the tabernacles of David. He's gonna bring all twelve tribes together. That's prophecy, and we're literally living through that right now. The men of old wanted to hear that. They wanted to hear that good news. That's good news. The all all twelve tribes are finally coming back together. That's all good news. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, but that can only be done if it's done in order under, okay, the head of the 12 tribes, which is Yahweh Shai. Okay, which he, he sprang out of Judah. So Judah, Judah is the head tribe. There's there's order to this thing. Okay. You done on that? Uh I mean it's it it's it's beautiful it all the way down. Yeah, yeah, finish it. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the treader of grapes, him that soweth seed, and the mountains shall drop sweet wine. Yeah, go ahead and go into it. Con it says, and all and all the hills shall melt. It says, and I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel, and they shall build the waste cities and inhabit them. Going back into, hey, we're going to be put back into our land. Hey, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is saving us. All right, that after we're delivered, then we're going to be put back into our land. All right, not, not on this side, you know. And hey, hey, what? The streets is going to be paved with gold. You know, unimaginable righteousness is going to be ruling in this planet Earth. You know, starting with starting with the father on down to Yahweh Shai, on down to the members of the elect, and then the rest of the nation. All right. It says, and they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. They shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them. Right. In this society, all right. Well, the whole uh making of America, all right. You had Jake's all right, off of off the blood, sweat, and tears of Jake, man. We made up this. We 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 built this country, and guess what? We ain't getting nothing. We didn't get nothing of it. All right. Esau got everything. Esau still living off that slave money. All right. Esau is 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 still reaping off the benefits of the off the backs of what the Israelites have done in this society. But guess what? In our kingdom, all right, starting with Yahweh Shai, we're gonna be able to we're gonna be able to to enjoy the things, you know, basically that 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 come forth from a righteous kingdom. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked bear of rule, the people mourn. All right, the people rejoicing is going to be starting with the nation of Israel because that's who it's all about. You know, all of the all of the other nations, everybody else, they come after. Man, it starts with the nation of Israel. You know, it says, and I will, and I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more be be pulled out. So like, and they shall no more be pulled up out of their land which I gave them, saith the Lord, thy power. Amen. Uh, I believe the scriptures say he's going to, uh, I believe it's in Amos, uh, how he would destroy us from off the face of the earth. All right. Talking about uh, basically off our land. But what? That falling away, that falling away ultimately had to happen. And we, we had to be taken from our land. All right. Where we would note what? Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 68. We're going, we, we will go into Egypt with ships. All right. And we will see that land no more. All right. And in these bodies, we're we not going to be able to go in, and inhabit. The, the our original land the land of israel all right but guess what when we are in those new bodies all right the beginning of that new covenant all right we're gonna be we're gonna be the righteous rulers we ain't never gonna be taken out of that land the scriptures say uh uh beat beat your swords into plowshares all right because it ain't gonna be no more wars it's gonna be strictly uh uh you know agriculture agriculture all right and the heathen they're gonna be building up these different things the same way we had to build up everything here all right hey as Israel, if you if you wanna if you wanna plant, you know if you wanna, hey, that's that's up to you. But ultimately, hey, the heathen the heathen are gonna be getting put to work, starting with the nation of Edom, you know. But uh, that was that was pretty much it. I had one more precept. Go ahead. Ecclesiasticus, chapter twenty three, and verse twenty seven, and they. And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord, and that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandments of the Lord. You know, hey, ultimately we we gonna get the big we gonna get the big payout, man, for for, for following what Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Yahweh Yahushai commanded us to do. All right, we we are behind enemy lines. We are in the land of our captivity. Well, we we were given simple instructions. You know, go a hey, a hey, bid. The members, the uh, hopeful members of the elect, to the marriage, you know. We was we were given a simple task, man, and, and we was going into toward the beginning, man. The fear of the Lord, all right. The fear of Yahweh Shem is is where it all starts. Th that's what's gonna get us out of here, man. Little with the fear of the Lord, all right. Through, by the time, like the brother said earlier, hey, by the time that we done with this thing, 
all right we we are going to be perfected all right and it don't mean we ain't break we, we didn't break no laws in this flesh that's not what that means are right? we going to be made perfect through suffering you know we we are being conformed to the image of yahweh shai you know hey and what it's, it all starts with the fear of the father all right the fear of yahweh bashim yahweh shai you know that's right bro that's right let i mean unless you got anything else bro you that's know what pretty I mean? much it. we'll probably just wrap it up there you know what i mean you know we just went you know just, just off you know in the spirit man you know we went in the spirit you know we pray that you know your brothers your few sisters were edified until next time shalom to the elect shalom <laughs>